Hello guys, this is Deathilla and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Build a Modern City series. This is episode 28 and we are back in our suburbs once again. You guys seem to be enjoying it and so am I. As you can see, I have done a little bit of work off camera. I don't do that a lot, but I decided to sit down and do this. This took about an hour to do because, yes, I copied and pasted all the houses, but I had to go in and manually replace the doors, paintings and item frames because... You know, doors can be displaced and item frames tend to pop off when you're using World Edit. The banners as well. Yes, it's, it's all strange. Also, there's a new version of the mods we use for this out now, so we'll most likely be updating the world soon. So yeah, we should be able to do a little bit more. Anyways, let's just take a look at what I've done. So what I've actually been doing is, this is an example of what this area will look like. So this is a, like a small... Um, town block. So we'll have five houses in each side, so ten houses in total. And you can see the way the streets just line up. Well, the, the back gardens just line up. It's very nice. It really is. I think it's good. Also, one of the things I like about it is that depending what time of day it is, the sun's going to be in different places, so you get different shadows. Like, say, this current time of the day, the sun is here, but at another time it can be here. So both and um, people will be able to get the sun. Also, we're experiencing some lag. As you can see, we're down to 10 FPS. Now, I don't know how to fix it. We need Optifine or something to fix that problem, but I don't want to lower my settings anymore. Yeah, so that's why we need to update because actually, I don't have Optifine for this version of Minecraft. Well, well, I do, but I can't use it in co combination with the mods I use in it right now because it causes difficulties, which is unfortunate. But today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be expanding this section once more. It's just a case of copying and pasting what I've made here. And we'll place them around. We'll make a little hill. Not steep or anything. It'll be a slight inclination. And yeah, but as the city goes out further this way, it's going to get more hilly and stuff like that. So that's why we're kind of, we're going to be bringing the hills up. So the hills are going to go up this way and that way. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I want your guys' suggestions and um, feedback on this. Do you think this looks cool? Do you think it looks good? I think it does. I think it's a... I think it does, but there's a lot of repetition in the design because everything is the same. But that's just the way houses are designed these days. Designed in bulk. And bought in bulk. But I suppose we could have lots of slight personalizations like maybe trees, certain cars. Um, if maybe even modify some of the gardens. So say maybe one house isn't, hasn't been purchased and isn't lived in, so the garden's all overgrown. Or maybe one house is on fire or something. <laughs> yes, extremes. So, yeah, we never went much further down. This marked the end of it down here. But as you can see, this is actually a pretty large section that we've made here already. But it looks pretty good. As you can see, that's a chunk of loading, and that just shows you how much my PC is actually struggling. Yeah, it doesn't normally run like that. Minecraft hasn't run like that in quite a while. But yeah, guys, instead of rambling on, I'm going to let you watch time lapse because that's what you're here for after all. So yeah, enjoy.
Okay guys, so that is it. I don't know how long it was, I haven't edited it yet, but hopefully it shouldn't be too long, I hope it isn't. But we have actually done quite a lot of work and it hasn't been, well I only actually worked for 45 minutes. Now typically I work well, in time lapses, I try to go for somewhere in between an hour and two hours of work. Done this all in 45 minutes and it's quite, quite a bit since I already had some stuff done. It made it a lot easier. If I'd done it all ju just starting with the one house, it would have took a lot longer. But yeah, let's just take a look. So as you can see, this is looking pretty good. We've got a few blocks floating around. That's where I was using to mark out and to actually pick up the areas I was copying. Yeah, I, I'm liking this. I really am. If you're wondering how I managed to do the hills, all I did, all I did was raise this this segment by one block and just continue the wood down. Obviously, in the areas with the grass, you don't actually need that, but yeah, it looks pretty good. And if I had the opportunity, and if this was a place I could live in, I, I would like it because well, come on, you have a pool and stuff. But yeah, some of the item frames and stuff have disappeared, but oh, it's okay. It still looks the part. Also, my frame rate isn't holding up too well. It's a bit better now. But, yeah. Anyways, that is it for this episode. So, as always, guys, if you like this episode, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.